from Home Bargains and b and and <laughs> I spent a lot more than I definitely had planned. Um, I think that's always the case when you go to places like Home Bargains, B&M, Wilco, like all of those types of places. You go in, you think you know what you want and you end up coming out with about 10 times more. So I'm not going to tell you how much I spent but I just thought I'd do like a little haul with you just to kind of show you what I have got. Um, I know I love watching these videos just to kind of see what other people buy and what they use, especially cleaning products, which a lot of my... Yeah, actually no, it's probably half and half. Um, but there are a lot of cleaning products in here, um, stuff that I needed to refill, stuff that I haven't been able to get elsewhere, so I've been using alternatives but now have finally got there. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would pop on and just kind of go through what I've bought. Um, as I say, I love these videos um, and I know that they really make me find products that I otherwise might not have thought to use. Um, so hopefully it does the same for you. So let's get started. So we'll start with the cleaning stuff. Um, like I say, there is a lot of it, um, but I am just a clean freak, basically. I like everything. I am kind of in the opinion that everything has its place and if it's got a place, it should be in its place. Um, that being said, it doesn't quite always happen, um, especially obviously if I'm having some bad days with my condition. However, where I can, I do try to keep everything where it should be and as clean as it should be, how I like it, basically. Um, so, the first couple of things that I got are regulars in my cupboard, um, which are Sephora. I really love the Linen Fresh one. I just think it's such a like fresh, clean smell. Um, you will find in my house the majority of scents that I have are linen fresh, cotton fresh, anything like that. Um, just because I think it's such a nice refreshing smell um, and it just makes you think of a, a clean house. So a really, really, really big one of these um, because I have not been able to get the really big ones in the linen fresh for a while. So. I have got that. I have been using this. I know Sephora became a big thing um, with Mrs. Hinch, but I have actually been using it long before Mrs. Hinch had her favourite products. So it is a it is a firm favourite of mine, um, and it is one that I have been using long before it became such a popular item. And this was only three ninety nine. I know some other places they can charge like five pound at least four or one of this size. So this makes 20 litres. Um, the bottle itself is 500 ml. Um, I have paid a lot for this in other places. So with it only being 3.99, I literally just had to pick it up. Second thing, again, this with the same, um, this is the minky cloth. I don't think you can ever have too many minky cloths. Um, and I love the pattern on this one. I think it's really nice. So this is actually the antibacterial kitchen one. Um, I thought I would give this one a try. I haven't actually used the specific kitchen ones. So I figured I would give the specific kitchen one a try. Um, and it means that I can actually get rid. I have been using um, the like blue kind of disposable, not disposable cloths, but you know, you all know the ones that I'm talking about. They come on like this big roll um, and you take them off and they, they kind of last like a week, a couple of weeks and then you throw them away and then you get the next one off the roll. I'm coming to the end of that and quite frankly, I didn't want to buy another one of those. Um, I, they just, they don't last long enough and because they are so thin, you find that you're throwing them away and you can't re, you can't just clean them and reuse them. They only last a couple of weeks. Obviously, minky cloths are much different. You obviously, once they're dirty and to a point where you need to wash them, you can give them a wash and you can just go right back to using them. Um, so yes, I thought I would give the kitchen specific one a try. This was to 79. Um, obviously you do pay a little bit more for the minky pads, but they do last a lot longer, I think, in my opinion. And they, I 
personally don't think there's anything else that does the same job as a minky cloth um yeah so next we have now i already have some of these but i thought i would buy some more um so basically it's the dish matic um refillable handles so obviously you would usually put in your fairy liquid in here um and it would come out the top when you wet this and you just clean it and obviously it's really handy i have a dishwasher so i don't do too much um dish like manual dishwashing but i have found this to be an absolute savior um so i thought of basically i've seen a few tiktok videos where people have done this as well um where they've basically put like their cleaning products in here and so instead of their fairy liquid they've put their cleaning products in this so they could basically when they're cleaning just pick this up start their scrubbing obviously wipe everything down and it's done and that seems like such a good idea and these were only 89p in home bargains this one was a little bit more expensive because it does come with the um filters i think it was 2.99 um so it came with the handle and six refills um this one on its own was 89p but i just wanted to give these a go and if it doesn't work then i've got more and obviously this was cheaper to get the refills in with the actual pack itself um so i thought i would give that a try and see whether that works i will keep you updated on whether it does work because i think it's just going to be such a time saving thing just being able to pick this up clean wipe it down and then obviously leave it to dry and put it away again i just think it's going to be so so easy so they are what i'm going to try with those um next thing is lots and lots five carb of soda um so basically i use this on everything my washing machine on like to clean my sink drains and all sorts um it's so so good especially when you pair it with white vinegar um so i've got actually got some white vinegar spray as well um so they are just so so handy for everything um you can put them in the wash like i say i use them to clean drains and sinks um and all sorts so i've really really struggled um to find big packs like this so when i saw these i decided to pick up two so my nearest home bargains is about 10 to 15 minute drive so it's not too far um but my wilco and my b&m are literally five minutes down the road um so i do tend to go to wilco or b&m rather than home bargains um but i have managed to pick up these which i haven't been able to do in either wilco or b and i don't know whether i'm just not looking properly or what but i haven't been able to find them so when i saw them i picked up two big bags so they should hopefully last me a while these were only 79p so obviously such a big pack for 79p i thought was really really good like I said, I also bought the white vinegar spray. It works really well with the um, bicarbonate soda. It basically just activates it and kind of makes it fizz and foam and do its job more. Um, it also is really good at just making things really, really shine. So if you use it like on um, a shower screen or obviously on your shower tiles and bath or whatever, it's really good at getting rid of lime scale as well and just really making your shower screen and your tiles shine. Um, so again it's got a lot of uses i use it a lot um i should have really picked up two of these but i didn't um unfortunately but it was only 79p which i think is really really good um so yes so white vinegar spray next thing i got was um so i got these um these ones again um cotton fresh so like i say a scent that i always 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 use whenever i see them i tend to stock up on them but i thought this was really really good so you get three of these in a pack and they're um they were only five pound now i have paid like six pound for two before um so the fact that it was three for five pound i was not skipping out on that um as i say cotton fresh my one of my favorite ones so they will never not be used um and i also picked up an extra plug as well i have one in my living room i have one in my hallway and i have one in my bedroom um but surprisingly 
The room that I spend the most time in during the week, my office, I don't actually have one in. So I thought I would get one so that I can have my office smelling nice as well. Um, unfortunately, this one is the Blossom and Breeze because they didn't come with the Cotton Fresh with the plug. Um, but it will be a different and nice scent in the office until that runs out. And then I'll go back to this one. It was three forty nine, so it was a little bit more expensive. Um, but obviously once you've got the plug, it's there and it can be reused and reused and reused. So it is worth it. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can be sitting in a nice smelling office from now on. The next thing um, is the Pink Stuff Miracle Bathroom Foam Cleaner. Now I have not used this before, but I've heard really, really good things about it, both on TikTok, because I follow quite a lot of cleaning TikTokers, um, and from other people that I follow. Um, they have really raved about this, so I really wanted to give this a try and just see what it's like. It was only 99p, so I figured it was worth it. Again, it comes in a lot cheaper than some of the other bathroom cleaners that you can get out there. So I figured it was worth giving a try, plus it's vegan, which is obviously good. Um, so yeah, I figured I would give it a try for 99p, you can't really go wrong, um, and we'll see whether it is worth raving about. So, first things, bin bags. Um, yeah, don't really need to say much about them, but I was out of them. And then the last two things are these. Um, so this is the Dettol washing machine cleaner. I'll actually give that a clean. And then the last thing um, is the Harpic Power Plus Active Tablets. Um, I picked these up because I couldn't find the bicarb of soda at the time. Um, so what I tend to do is I put the bicarb of soda down um, then obviously with the um, cleaner which obviously creates that phase in the bottom which cleans your the bottom of your toilet bowl um, however because I couldn't find the soda crystals the bicarb soda um, I thought I'd give these a try once I'd found the soda crystals I then forgot to put these back so I thought I would give these a try as well so we'll see which one works out more to be fair they were only 1.99 as well so you get eight which isn't bad so I thought I'd give them a try they're citrus scent as well so obviously it'll keep the bathroom and the toilet smelling really really fresh and nice um but yeah for 1.99 um as I say I've just forgot to put them back on the shelf once I picked up the soda crystals but we'll give them a try and we'll see whether they do the job so that is it on the cleaning front. I don't think there is anything else. Like I say, I am quite a clean freak and I have, to be honest, I've been in a bit of a flare for the past few weeks, probably three to six weeks um, that I've been in a flare now. So I haven't actually been able to do the cleaning that I would like to do. All praise to him, Chris has been doing it for me. Um, maybe he's not quite up to my standards, um, but there is training to be done. There is learning to be done. Um, but yeah, obviously I haven't been able to do the cleaning, so I just am itching to now get back to it and just make sure everything's how I like it, basically. So that's what this is all in aid of. Obviously having all the right products and just having a really, really, really deep clean of everywhere before finally getting back into my actual weekly cleaning routine basically so yes so on to the beauty products um i say beauty products there's kind of in this bag there's kind of a mix of like beauty health kind of random stuff um so we'll see what comes out of it so the first thing that i got um is some face masks you cannot go wrong with face masks they were only 1.99 so they're 1.99 each um so they are a little bit more expensive than these little ones um so i got two of those and then because chris likes to join me on my face mask nights um he likes to pamper himself too which i think is perfectly reasonable um i bought some charcoal peel off masks 
Um, so I bought three of those. They were also on three for two, um, hence buying three. Um, so yeah, three for two pound and it now means that he doesn't have to begrudgingly pick which mask out of my selection he wants to put on. Um, now, the second thing that I picked up, which for a lot of you who know me, are gonna find really weird. Um, however, it is the Samaritz and the tanning pad. Um, basically, we're in lockdown and I figure while we're in lockdown, why not give tanning a try? Um, I was going to do it last year when we first got put into lockdown, but then I was like, how am I going to do my back and stuff like that? Because you know, woman problems when tanning, how, how do you reach your back? Um, so obviously now that Chris is staying here, I figured I'd give it a try, finally. And as we are in lockdown for a few more weeks, and I am likely to be in lockdown even more weeks than that, um, I thought now was the time to try it because otherwise I never will because my biggest nightmare about tanning is the thought of it going all horribly wrong. So if I do it while I'm still in lockdown and I have nowhere to go and no one to see, then it doesn't really matter if it doesn't work. So I have got the Samaritz um, Instant Tanning Mousse in the medium. Um, it's fast drying, streak, fit, streak free, um, and it develops within four to six hours before you obviously have a shower. It was also three ninety nine, um, and it's the XL pack. Um, I don't know how much I need. I have never tanned before in my life, other than sitting in the sun. Um, so for three ninety nine, and I think the tanning mitt was something like two ninety nine. Like I say, I figured I would give it a try while I do not have to see anyone. I don't have to go anywhere. Um, it's absolutely fine. My next Zoom meeting is scheduled in for the first Monday of next month. So I have about three weeks. So it's all good. So we're going to give that a try. Right. The next thing I got, which is a pretty regular purchase in this house, is Epsom salts. Um, so I got the regular Epsom salts um, from Soak. Usually, to be fair, I tend to get my Epsom salts from the corner shop. Um, they're only a pound for like, a, it's the, the bag's smaller than this. It's probably about half a size, but they are only a pound. And it's so super easy if I run out, they're right there. Um, but I saw these and I figured, obviously, they're the bigger packs, so I won't run out of them as quickly. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen the Epsom salts in my corner shop for a month or so now. So I'm starting to get low. So I figured it was worth getting. So these are just the normal ones. Um, these ones were 169. Um, I use Epsom salts basically all the time. Every time I have a bath, I put Epsom salts in. Um, obviously with my joint condition, my muscles, my arthritis, everything like that, Epsom salts really get into the muscles and really help um, ease them. Yesterday after having moved around my entire office on the night before, um, Chris ran me a lovely, lovely bath and obviously basically put half a pack of these in. Um, and I went from basically not being able to move to actually having some freedom of movement moving around the house. Um, so yeah, they do they do work. Um, I find them really beneficial for me. They are more catered for people who obviously work out, who are gonna have those tired, aching muscles. But as someone who does have a chronic condition, I do find them to be really, really helpful. Um, so they are literally a regular purchase in my house. I do not have a bath without them. Um, so yeah. I stocked up while they were there and I also bought these ones which are the lavender and jasmine ones um so depending on when I have my bath if I um obviously have more on the weekend I tend to have it a little bit earlier especially if it's because I'm struggling with my pain um but if I'm having a bath more towards going to bed i will tend to use the lavender ones because they do help kind of make me a little bit more tired make me a little bit more relaxed um so these ones were a little bit more expensive at 2.99 um they are both one kilogram bags um but these are because they're west lab they are a little bit more expensive um but yeah 
the lavender jasmine I just find really really nice if I'm having a bath before I'm going to bed so I bought those um, also going down the bath route um, I picked up some deep heat foam bath um, now I have never seen this before it's obviously deep heat is really good for muscles um, I don't tend to use deep heat because I hate the smell um, I, I know a lot of people really really like the smell I am not one of those people I have avoided it at every cost oh but actually that thankfully does not smell like deep heat i can't i can't quite describe what that smell is but that is really 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 nice um but yeah so because i kind of have a aversion to using actual deep heat because of the smell i figured that obviously on my really really bad days along with the epsom salts i could throw some of this in and hopefully this would help as well so i thought i'd give it a try it was 249 so obviously it is a little bit more expensive for the size that you get because this is only 350 mil but obviously it is branded it is dp um but i don't suppose you would use it in every bath obviously i will only be probably using it on my very worst of days um but yeah i thought i would give this a try and see if that does work any better alongside the um, Epsom salts. Um, next thing is some hand wash. Um, I have actually r almost run out of hand wash in my bathroom. Um, so I saw this and it's chamomile and vitamin E. Now obviously I couldn't smell it in the shop but oh that is so nice. I've, I looked at it and I was like that's got to be a really really nice smell um, and the issue that I have when it comes to hand washes is that I have very sensitive hands um, so again another reason why I have a dishwasher and I don't tend to manually wash dishes um, is because my hands are so sensitive so as soon as they get any product on them I do actually have to just lather loads of hand cream on it which isn't ideal um so when i'm obviously doing my cleaning i wear gloves to make sure that my that product doesn't hit but it's so so important to me therefore that i have a good hand wash and obviously this it's antibacterial and it does say that it's moisturizing it's got vitamin e in which is really good for your skin so i figured i would give it a try um i did say that dove had started doing a um the refill packs so you basically buy the like squishy refill packs and um, which come with two like it's the size of two refills and um, which you obviously pour into your bottle of hand wash um once it's empty but as much as i really really wanted to do that because i am really trying to make a conscious effort to be sustainable um and not go through plastic like i don't know what i the, the scent that it was in um it was like a i can't even remember what it was it was cucumber and something um and that just really didn't appeal to me if they'd had it in there in a different scent then i probably would have bought it but not in the cucumber um i yeah no cucumber for hand sanitizer is absolutely fine but i just not for a hand wash that's just not for me so Hopefully um, they do get some more refill packs in there of different scents, maybe it's different brands, um, but unfortunately the one that they had in there just wasn't wasn't for me. Um, so yeah, hopefully in the future I will be able to just buy the refill packs, but for now obviously this one should hopefully do, I think this was 99p, um, it's moisturising, it's got vitamin E which should be good for my skin and it is antibacterial as well which is really handy, plus it smells absolutely bloody lovely. So, I think that is it with bath, oh no, the last thing which is kind of bathroom kind of related um, is this, it is a 4 in 1 foot file, it is not for me, um, Chris has been moaning about his feet and the hard skin on them for the past, I don't know how long, I'm really not a fan of feet, not for me whatsoever, um, so this is not mine. Um, and I will not be using it. It's just for Chris. Um, so he can have fun doing what he needs to do with that. The last couple of beauty items that I got were these. Um, so I 
have really, really been struggling with my nails recently. Um, they get to a point where they're really strong, they're really nice, I paint them and then they'll reach a certain length and then they'll just stop and they'll start going really thin and like keep snapping and all sorts. So I saw these in here which is the artificial nail set, it comes in a hundred pieces um, and they're plain white so the idea is obviously to find the ones that fit your nails and then you paint them. I actually have a UV LED light um, and some gel nail polishes which I use on a semi-regular basis. Um, obviously with normal nail sets you are restricted to the colours that you have. These I can put on time and time again and I can pick the colour and the design that I want to. And they were only £1.49 um, so that's not really all that bad when you think about how much you pay when you go for a manicure and get your nails professionally done. Um, considering I have the UV light and the nail polishes, I think £1.49 for the nails is pretty good. So I figured I'd give these a go and hopefully, hopefully do something with my nails other than just irritate me because they keep snapping. And then the last two things that I have are the Olivia Hale makeup line. Um, this is the foundation stick in ivory. This is the BB cream in light. Um, I've never used these. I don't know whether they're any good. This just reminded me basically of the Revolution foundation stick that I have and have just run out of. Um, I thought I'd give this a try because it reminded me of it and just to kind of compare between the Revolution and the Olivia Hale. Um, basically I find these so super easy because if I'm popping out the house or um, you know just going somewhere and I just want some light makeup this foundation stick really does that and I know the Revolution one it like you'd only need to put a little bit on your face but it would go like a really long way um but it was just a nice light kind of coverage um like, especially in the summer obviously when it gets hotter again um it's just a nice light coverage that doesn't take too much effort but actually does the job that you want it to so i hope this one can compare it was 99p again thought it was worth a try um yeah we'll see what it's like and then i bought the bb cream Basically, I have never used BB cream, I'm not going to lie. Um, it is something that I keep looking at using, um, again, for the same reason I like the foundation stick. I just like to have something, a bit like a tinted moisturiser, just something that I can throw on my face, particularly in the summer or when I'm on holiday where I just want like a clean look on my face but nothing too heavy, um, which obviously BB cream is perfect for. But... I've just never got there and I saw this obviously when I picked up the foundation stick and this is again oh, this was only 99p as well so yeah I thought I would give it a try obviously if I like it then I'll just continue getting this one if I like the BB cream but not necessarily this particular brand then it means that I can obviously go and try a slightly more expensive brand um but it was just at 99p just a way for me to try the BB cream and see what I think of it really so that is the last one on the beauty items. Um, so for the home bargains, I feel like that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Um, but for the last three items I have, there are three homeware items. And the first one, um, obviously Mother's Day is coming up. That is next Sunday, I think. Um, so, Mother's Day is coming up, so they obviously had a nice kind of Mother's Day display on. Um, and I saw this. And I was actually going to get it as like a little Mother's Day present for my nan. Because um, I always get her a little something on Mother's Day. Um, until I realised what it said. So I'm glad that I actually read it and understood what it said uh, before I sent it to her. Because it says, special nan. All that I am or hope to be, I owe to my angel nan. So obviously it's like a tribute to your nan who has passed away. So it's a good job that I obviously read it properly and like interpreted it properly um, before I obviously sent it. But when I did realise what it said, I did still want to get it. Um, I lost my nan like 12 years ago now, almost 12 years ago. Um, 
and I was really quite close to her um so when I saw this obviously when I read what it said obviously realized it wasn't for my nan who's still here um but I just thought it was really nice just to kind of have um I have like a little card that um was made after she died which is it's kind of a little bit like a memorial card but kind of not at the same time um so i have that on my windowsill over there um so i will obviously put this with her i've got a picture of her and me over there as well same as for my granddad on my other side um so i thought this would be really nice just to put over there with her picture with her little memorial card um and just a nice way to say happy mother's day to her as well it was only 149 as well so i thought that was really good not gonna lie probably won't ever burn this um just because of what it is and what it means um but yeah i just thought it was something sweet and special just to put over there with the pictures um and yeah so that was 149 and then the last two things are so me things is these um so this is another wire basket for my house however this one comes with handles so this is really ideal i basically do not like the way that my makeup palettes are arranged um i can only get about five or six of them on the palette holder that i currently have um so when i saw this apart from the fact that it's pretty and it's rose gold and i wanted it um i actually did manage to come up with a purpose for it which i think i've changed my baskets around um but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to use one of them um to put my makeup palettes in so they can all sit in nicely obviously tallest and widest at the back going through but they should hopefully hopefully all be able to fit in here nicely and it means they're all in one place at the moment i've got some in my palette holder i've got some in my other makeup holder i've got some in my drawer and um, they're just kind of everywhere and it means that i reach for the same ones every time rather than switching them up which is obviously what i want to do um so yeah i just thought this would be really good at helping me do that um but yeah it was 3.99 and i just think i obviously haven't moved my entire office around on wednesday i am really in the organization mood right now um trying to get everything sorted and how i want it just making stuff easier to get to um and all sorts so this is the plan with this um so yeah 3.99 um in my lovely rose gold favoured colour um, and just so simple it means that I can also see all the palettes that are in there as well um, yeah and then the last thing I got which I must admit I was inspired by Shannon at Shea Kennedy and I saw that and was immediately like right I need to go to Home Bargains I need one of these um, I basically decided that I needed slash wanted this um, so i just think um for so many reasons for me personally um i think it will be good it's white which i love if you've seen around my house you will see that a lot of my furniture is white specifically in the office and the bedroom the living room not so much um but i do like my whites and i think this will be really good on as like a blogging background so when I'm doing like product flat lays and stuff like that, I can use it. I can also use it in here or in the bathroom just to kind of put products on and stuff like that. I mean, it is meant to be a sofa tray. Um, so this does come down and they are hinged. Um, so you can't just make it stay like that. Unfortunately, they do just fold back down. Um, so I won't actually be using it as its purpose. I will more just be kind of using it as a decorative tray, maybe putting candles on, maybe putting some like bathroom items on, like maybe like my bubble baths, maybe my bath bombs. I don't know. Maybe my in, maybe even in my bedroom to put like my skincare stuff on, um, because I have all my bottles of skincare, so maybe I might use it in there. I just thought it's really handy. It's really quite small, as you can see. Um, it was only two ninety nine as well. I may well go back for another one at this rate. Um, so that is the end of the home bargains haul. Okay, so we are almost 
almost there. So obviously that was the end of Home Bargains. Now we are going on to B&Q, which there is only a few things. However, I could not do this video without mentioning them because I am so over the moon with them. So, bear with me a second. Uh, here is the first purchase at B&Q. Um, so basically, my... We'll put him there. So basically, my house, flat, whatever, is very devoid of plants, flowers, anything. Obviously, flowers are great. I get them quite a lot. Um, not so much in recent weeks. Um, but I get them quite a lot. Um, and when they obviously die, because flowers die, um, I just find myself feeling so empty because I just love the way that my house looks and feels when it's got flowers in it. So I decided it was time to go one step further and get some plants. So this is um, the Dracaena. Um, so if I just take this out here and try not to spill soil everywhere, I can show you. There we are. Um, so I don't know much about these other than they need quite a lot of light but not direct sunlight um obviously keeping them fertilized regularly keeping the soil moist etc i don't know much more than that so i do need to go and have a little look at um the actual specifics of the plant care however i did get two of these so this is plant number one isn't it so pretty and then we have number two so, oh, it's caught my hair. So you can kind of see, I don't know whether you can see that. Let me zoom in a little bit. So, I think you can just about see that. They are slightly different colours. So this has more got two shades of green. Um, this one is more kind of a green with like a white tint. Um, I saw this one, fell in love with this one. Um, basically, the reason... Basically, the reason that I got two is because my flat, as big as it is, um, and as much as I love it, unfortunately, there is not a whole lot of room, I have realised, for plants to go. Um, I have kind of filled all the space that I kind of have in this flat. Um, so the only place I have for plants as tall as this, um, I realised was my hearth. So obviously because it's going on my hearth, by the way, my, um, my fire doesn't go on. I don't have a fire. It's like an electric blower fire. Um, but I don't ever have it on, hence it going on the hearth. Um, so the bay window in the living room um, provides a lot of light into the living room. Um, so I think it's going to be ideal there because it's going to have a lot of light through the bay window. But it's not going to be in direct sunlight which is really really good. Um, so because I decided that the only place for something as tall as this. Basically I just love the colours in this one. Um, which is what really made me want to get it. The only way to make it look right on the hearth was to have one either side of the fire that's what you can call it um so that meant I got a second one I did consider getting a different type of plant I did look at the devil's ivy um however I no I liked these they're really pretty so happy days all round um so yes so the plants themselves came in these pots here um and they were 19 pound um as you can see on the sticker um so they were 19 pound um, and then these i got separately um which were eight pound and they fit really nicely into there so obviously it means that i don't just have the plain terracotta um pot especially in my living room um the gray goes really nicely with the vibe that i have going on in that room um so i bought two of the plants and two of the pots um and i also bought these metal pot stands now i think these were only like two pound um 
they are supposed to be that way up and the pot's supposed to sit in the middle of that and these kind of hold it on. However, I kind of preferred them or the thought of them this side up. Obviously, these pots that I've got won't fit in that way. They're too big. So I tried it in B&Q um, and I tried just putting on because it's got these plastic covers on. Um, they're like silicon. So obviously it stops it sliding. Um, so I figured it should work. So I have two of these. Um, so obviously the plan is to put a pot on each of them um, and they can hopefully look really nice stood on either side of my hearth. I did come in and I did put them straight on there just to see how it looked. Admittedly, I didn't use the stands. However, I did like what I saw. Um, basically, I am just so sick of not having any plants in my house. Plants make people happy um, and with it coming up to spring, I thought now was the perfect time. I did also just watch Bex over at Bex Blogs um, do her house plant potting on video, um, which kind of also inspired me to do it like right now rather than like next weekend. Um, so because I, I mean, I wasn't passing, I kind of had to go out my way a little bit, um, but it was worth it. It was worth it. And then um, the third plant I got, so I realised that my uh, my living room's going to be very top heavy with plants while the rest of my house is going to have none in. Unfortunately, my like I say, there's not really many spaces for plants. I think I probably will go back and buy some smaller plants to put on like windowsills and stuff. Um, but at this point, I just kind of wanted something kind of a little bit bigger just to kind of make it really noticeable um, and really kind of make it feel like I have some plants in my house. So the last one I got was this one which is the um flamingo flower um and I just basically thought it was really really pretty so I don't know whether you can see the colours properly on that um but they are so so pretty they are basically a flamingo pink now I know it says flamingo flower but they were different colours there was um reds there was whites there was this colour um but yes, these ones are actually pink like a flamingo, but I just thought they were really pretty. And basically, add some colour. Obviously, this is greenery, um, so this adds some colour. Um, like I say, it does mean that my living room is going to be quite top-heavy with plants. Um, but it's better to have a room top-heavy with plants than no plants at all. That is my way of thinking. Um, so this is probably going to sit on my coffee table in the middle, because I don't really have anything that sits on that anymore. I did have my candle and kind of like my candle holder um, kind of sat in the middle but then I moved that to a spot I actually thought looked nicer. So it currently sits empty apart from when Myla's obviously not got the crate on it. Um, she should hopefully be, be vacating that spot in four weeks time um, so I should get my coffee table back. Um, but yes, I just thought this would look really nice in the middle of it. I love the colour of it um, and it's just really pretty. Um, so yes, so that is my plants. That is my home bargains haul as well. And yes, I am so happy. Basically, just, just. Um, but that's it for me today. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed this video, I'm sorry that it has ended up being a lot, lot longer than I originally planned. I'm now stuck on the edge of my video because my beautiful plants are in the way. Um, but yes, I really hoped that you enjoyed this video. I know how much I enjoy seeing these types of videos and seeing what other people buy. Basically just like being nosy, you know. Um, but yeah, I really hope you like it. Let me know down below in the comments. And if you are watching my videos and you aren't subscribed, I would really, really appreciate if you click that subscribe button and then the notification button so that you could be notified of all my new videos. See you next time.